Hydraulic Model Studies of Pump Intake Structure, for Halyal Lift Irrigation Scheme, Karanateka India. Geometrically similar one is to 6 scale, 3D comprehensive model. A lift irrigation scheme is proposed at Dandali, Uttara Kannada District, in Karnataka known as Halyal Lift Irrigation Scheme under Karnataka Nirevari Nigam Limited. It is proposed to lift water from the Kali River by using four numbers of vertical turbine pumps. The lifted water would be used to fill 46 tanks and 19 barrages coming under Halyal Talyaka, for irrigation to farmers. The Halyal project consists of two stages of pumping under this scheme, to cover all the tanks and barrages. With design discharge of 1.75 cubic meters per second. Each pump is having a design discharge of 0.58 cubic meters per second. The key components of the project are Intake canal Four bay of 20 meter length Pump sump The trash rack is provided for each of the bay. The silt trap is also provided to trap the silt before entering the bay. And the rising main The model study is proposed for water level at minimum drawdown level that is MDDL, and for MDDL plus 3 meter level. The MDDL level is 434.456 meter, and MDDL plus 3 meter is 437.456 meter. The pump bay consists the bell mouth, suction pipe, and breast wall arrangements. Components constructed in model are Inlet chamber Intake canal the four bay. The piers separating the pump bays. The breast wall arrangement. The bell mouth inlet. And suction pipe. The various combinations of pump operations were selected, by maintaining the water level at minimum drawdown level, and at minimum drawdown level plus 3 meter. The simulation matrix considered for the study is shown in the table. During experimentation the water level is maintained in the model at MDDL, and MDDL plus 3 meter for different pump operating conditions using valves, and measured with the vernier gauge of least count 0.1 mm, to determine the water surface elevation. Further, flow through suction pipe is regulated by means of control valve, for desired pump combination. The flow was measured over a V-notch upstream of the model. Once the flow condition stabilizes the observations are taken. With the help of sawdust, the flow in the forebay was observed to identify the rotation of flow, if any. With the help of dye, the flow in the sump was visualized to identify the separation of flow, and dead zones. Surface vortices and dimple formation were inspected visually. And the possible existence of subsurface vortices, were explored by dye injection at selected locations, near the bell mouth, and locations where a vortex may form. Finally, physical hydraulic model studies have led to the following conclusions. Different pump operating conditions, with the water level maintained at minimum drawdown level that is MDDL, and MDDL plus 3 meter indicated that the flow was mostly uniform over the approach channel. There were no eddies observed, this indicates that the diversion of the side walls and slope of the floor are adequate. No surface, subsurface vortices, measurable swirl and undulations in the water level were observed. However, slight rotational flow was observed in forebay when water level is maintained at MDDL. In view of the above, flow conditions for all combinations of operating conditions, of the pump house were acceptable and satisfactory. The layout of the pump sump, and location of the pumps, and divide walls as proposed in the design drawings are recommended, for adoption and construction. Following modifications in the design are recommended based on physical hydraulic model studies for the pump intake structure. Intake from the river shall be flared, 
and curved at sides to ensure the smooth inlet flow conditions. Inlet channel shape may be made simply trapezoidal with sloping side walls. Desilting pump is recommended, and will be able to desilt the sump as far as possible, but it will be also helpful for dewatering of the main sump. Small sump is also recommended inside the main sump, to accommodate the desilting pump.